Hello everybody and welcome back to the Stuff I Like channel here on YouTube. Uh, this is Chris coming at you today with another video. Today I am going to be doing my personal EDC. Uh, I've been very fascinated uh, ever since I learned about the kind of EDC community on YouTube and on Reddit and in, in other places. Uh, I gotta be honest, it's it's kind of strange, it's a little weird, but I am fascinated by what other people carry on their person. So I'm going to do a video uh, and, and throw my hat in the ring and talk a little bit about my system. I call mine a system because I do consider kind of a three-tier setup here. Uh, so let's go through these and uh, talk about each item briefly. Uh, tier one is my carry it on your person kind of setup in your pockets or uh, always on you in some capacity. Uh, first and foremost, I have my phone. Uh, which I am using to video this uh, this video, of course, so that's just an empty case sitting there, but uh, I will tell you that I carry an iPhone SE, which is the smaller version of, uh, essentially it's a 6 or a 6 Plus and a 5S body. So you have everything in terms of features that the 6 Plus has, has the, you know, the thumbprint uh, and all that good stuff, but it's much cheaper and it's it's a smaller uh, smaller body and a smaller footprint, which I actually like. I you know I had a large Android phone before this, and when I upgraded, I said I am going to stick to a smaller phone because I don't need the huge screen and it's just less bulk uh, as I carry it around. So if you know anything about this channel, if you've watched a couple of other videos, you know I am not a big fan of bulky big things. Uh, I, I like to have a low profile. So this is a low profile phone with a low profile Incipio case, which is a stash back. Uh, this case is pretty slim for the fact that this bottom layer flips up and you can put three or four cards in there. Um, so it's good because as you'll see in a minute, I carry a very slim wallet. So that's a good case uh, to have a couple of extra things tucked away. Moving down the line here, you got my two kind of pocket clip tools. Uh, I have a Gerber flip uh, flipper knife here. I actually don't have the name of this knife on me. I will try to find it and put it in the, into the description. But this is about a three and a half inch blade, something like that. I like the black color. Um, it's a very sleek knife. It's a very slim knife. It is, um, you know, it's a nice little knife and it came in a two pack with this little blade that I keep tucked away in my organizer. And it, I, I've, I've not always been a pocket knife carrier, but as, as I've, I've kind of gotten used to it, I've really found this to be pretty, pretty useful on a daily basis. It also has a very low riding pocket clip. As you can see, this thing clips all the way down, almost into your pocket. So it's really hard to see uh, from, from kind of the naked eye unless someone's really looking. So uh, I like that about it. Again, it's slim, it's low prof. One bad thing about this is, or one one small negative is, when you first get this, this body, these scales are really slick. Uh, they look like they would be grippier than they are, but really, it's it takes a little time to, you know, the more that you that you handle it, and the more that you kind of put it through its paces, the more that the grip improves. But this can be a slick knife, so as you flip it, you know, you really got to be careful to to hold on to it, but. Aside from that, the blade's nice. Uh, it's cut everything I've needed it to cut. And uh, yeah, it's a good little pocket knife. So that's the Gerber. Um, and then moving on now to the Leatherman that I carry. This is the Leatherman Rev. I recently bought this from a hardware store because I was really surprised that it was only, I think, 20 bucks or even $19.99 for Leatherman. I have since learned that this is one of their more inexpensive tools, but... I'm really not sure why it is. It is very well constructed, as you would uh, come to expect from a Leatherman. It is, you know, I think it's a 14 tool thing. It has your pliers, it has, you know, um, screwdrivers, your bottle openers, your little, uh, you know, files or whatever. And then it does have a nice little blade right here, which I'm not gonna flip out right now, or maybe I'll try to get it up a little bit. This is a nice little blade. It's very sharp. It locks into place. It has a locking mechanism. So it's really a nice little pocket tool. And one thing I like about this, again, kind of a recurring theme, it is slim. So when you drop this down into your pocket, 
The clip shows a little bit of space here, but when you drop that thing down into your pocket, you almost forget about it. I had a cheaper multi-tool before this, and it really added a lot of bulk. And I ended up just tucking it in my bag and not carrying it on me. And then every time I needed it, I, my bag wasn't with me, of course, and I just didn't get much use out of it. But this guy is so slim that I can actually carry it in my in my pocket on a daily basis. So that's the Leatherman Rev, R-E-V. Um, and now moving on to the Tight Wallet. Uh, again, a recurring theme here, slim slim products and a slim slim wallet this wallet is really very very small it is per, or it's spelled tgt but it's pronounced tight uh, this was a kickstarter campaign that is now fully funded and uh, kind of a full-fledged business and this is a very nice wallet this leather on the front is of high quality it has a nice patina to it i've had this for for close to a year um, it is, you know, you see a lot of wallets with the elastic band. This elastic is heavy duty. It has not ripped. There has not been one fray. Um, it has really held up well. And um, it has stretched a tiny bit, but I kind of like that because I can get five or six cards in here plus a couple receipts and a couple dollar bills. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about upgrading to another wallet. There's a couple that I've been looking at, but for the... For what I need and what I like, this wallet has really served me well. It's about 50 bucks, so it's not cheap, but if you are uh, trying to lose the bulk in your back pocket, uh, this thing is really nice. Uh, the only downside to it is sometimes you have it in your pocket and it's so light you have a little panic moment because you think you may have lost your wallet, but I've never had it slip out or anything like that. So that's the tight wallet. And moving down here to the final stage of tier one, is uh, my key setup. This is a Thor key, key organizer from Amazon. This is not cheap. This thing cost me about 20 bucks and it's probably, you can probably make something like this for a few dollars, but I just bought it because I was so frustrated with keys jingling and catching in my pocket that I thought there's gotta be something. I didn't really like the key bar. I don't like the, the aesthetic of the key bar as much as this. So this is a Thor key. It's a leather strap with a nice bolt in here. And this bolt really will hold. You tighten it down as tight as you want it to so you can still access your keys. But I was afraid it was going to come loose and I was going to keep having to, to tighten it over and over. But really, this thing has not come loose a bit. So it allows the keys to move. There are small spacers in between each key. And uh, it's really an organized way to hold your keys and something that I am... Uh, very happy that I stumbled upon and bought. I also have a little flashlight here. This is a Phoenix E05. Nice little light, uh, nothing super special about it. It has three settings, uh, a low, medium, and a high beam. And the high beam, I think, runs close to 100 lumens. It might be 80 or something, but it will light up a room if you need it to. So that thing adds almost no weight to my carry. I mean, it's very light, very effective. It takes a AAA battery, which is what I want. And it's a nice little flashlight. So yeah, so that's tier one of my EDC. And that's what I'm carrying on my person at all times. So now into tier two, we're talking about the executive folio that I have mentioned more than once on my channel here. So I'm just going to quickly say uh, it is uh, technically a travel wallet uh, from the House of LH site on Etsy. It is uh, runs about 60 bucks. It's a leather organizer, everyday carry kind of. Um, folio so I carry this at work every day to a meeting you know off to, to a lunch with a, a client this is a good thing to carry you keep your notes you can tuck some documents away back here keep your pen I have my headphones in here I have a backup battery for my devices I have the small pocket knife this uh, this magnet on this on this uh, name badge is so strong that I tuck it behind this little pocket and it kind of sticks there so I have my name badge when I need it without digging around in this pocket which is good for documents as well. This is a medium size moleskin notebook and if you know anything about this this is kind of the one that you see everywhere and it fits in there nicely. This would also fit an iPad. This is uh, another small notebook that I carry in my back pocket sometimes but this is good for passport or any kind of travel documents and then a couple card slots. I have a little Victorinox uh, multi-card in there. So 
very nice leather leather folio and this is really my second tier work uh, a company uh, EDC and I've been very happy with this little guy so uh, moving on finally I encourage you to watch the bat or the the video that I just did on this bag this outdoor master sling uh, which was uh, purchased from Amazon for about twenty dollars this is a little more of the stuff that I need occasionally I have my grid it in there I have um, some a uh, little bit of medicine a little Tylenol I have a little bit of some hand sanitizer in there and a couple other things that you know a, a guy might need throughout the day so this is tier three in my mind this is um, when I'm out and about and uh, maybe I'm going to the store I will carry this If I'm going to work I'll carry it it can be a gym bag it can be a hiking bag and it's really that third tier uh, third level of EDC. So that is my EDC and uh, I look forward to engaging with you in the comments to hear about what you're carrying and what you like or dislike about my setup. So uh, thanks again for watching and until next time.